uh, the uh, photojournalism. Yeah, I hope this will help you in your studies later on. All right, thanks. So uh, we shall not waste more time. Let's welcome Mr. Uh, sorry, Professor Chada. My name is Professor Harsh Chada. I'm from India, 53 years old, 35 years of experience in photography. Travel in 85 countries, photographed 450 cities in the world. I work with the World Wildlife Fund for Nature, and I spend my time in sharing my knowledge with students like you. My job today is to open doors and windows to make you understand certain things conceptually which are related with photography. One of the key factors that is involved in taking a picture, you have to ask yourself every time, why am I taking this picture? If you don't get the right answer, don't take it. You know, you're doing it to capture a moment, you're doing it to have fun, you're doing it to document something. But the most critical thing is to ask yourself, why are you taking this picture? Once you get to know why you're taking this picture, you will go about doing it differently. The camera becomes an extension of the eye as an instrument to capture what your mind is seeing. You understand? This is how it works in principle as to how you go about taking a picture. Even if you're doing it for your assignment or something, the way it goes about is basically you've already taken the picture and then you go about creating it in film. So what really drives you to take pictures is two things. Something from the outside or something from the inside. From the outside, dollars. From the inside, passion. Creativity. Something that drives your inner feeling. Because when you do it right, you capture that moment right, you know you succeeded 100%. And that's what gives you internal satisfaction. Of course, as a profession or as a livelihood, then also use it to make us money. Now, as you all live in a very developed society in Singapore, one of the areas of photography that's very abundant in this area is fashion photography. A lot of you all like fashion photography. What does the word fashion mean to you all? Who likes fashion photography out there? You, you. What does fashion photography mean to you, young man? Uh, the way you the express with your clothes. Your clothes. You saw? Yes, you start with your style. Characteristic. Characteristic. Anything else? Other than character? No, confidence. Confidence. Okay. What does the word fashion mean to you? Okay, same guy. Style. style. So you think. Fashion is new style. What do you say? You said confidence, what do you say? Um, On fashion. In your way of life. Way of life. What do you think? Do you think fashion? What is fashion to you? Let me put it in a very simple, simple way. You can read it, you can understand it, but at the end of the day, you gotta take a good picture and then you got to treat it. But to start with, you need to take a good picture of high quality. To be able to take a good picture of high quality, not only do you need the good equipment, but also you need to have knowledge how to use it. Right equipment, whether it's digital or it's film, you gradually move up step by step. You don't start with the most expensive, even if you can own it, because you don't know how to use it. So you have to go stage by stage. Once you have the right equipment and you can use your style to that equipment, you are then able to utilize the model more effectively. Modeling in fashion photography is nothing more than dancing. It is a trust between the model and between the photographer 
to create what you both want to achieve. It's a partnership between the model and between the photographer. It's not something that happens just purely by the model, but it doesn't happen purely by the photographer. If I bring Naomi Campbell in this room and give you this best camera and have you take great pictures, you really got to be good at your work to achieve that. She'll give you the look, she'll give you the right poses, but you must also be at a level where you can rise to that. You are able to achieve that for a longer period of time. And that's why it becomes easier for the model as she gains good experience and for the photographer. And then maybe you prefer him, you prefer me, you prefer him. Soon the photographer understands the model, the model understands the photographer and they like to work with each other. The next one that I'm going to show you is, I live in Dubai and I'm just going to show you some of the models that I train. All the photographers were trained by me. Okay? We're using some of these cameras, but that's what fashion photography is. I mean, I can go on and on and on and on about this stuff in to your advantage. Alright? So you can use it to your disadvantage also. But good photography is using the light to your advantage and being able to use it on anything. On animals, this is one of my books that's out on architecture, on so many things, you know, on, on human beings. So how you go about doing that is to understand light. And I'm not going to get into that because there's a lot of physics involved in all of this. But if I run an internship on digital photography, which I did up here, I will be able to sit and explain you over a period of a month what light is about and how you study light. What are the theories of light? going back to physics and also <coughs> theories of shadow because light creates shadow and also to be able to see how both light and shadow are used correctly and we use them correctly only if we follow the rules of magnetization. So this is the X-Bank, this is a panoramic camera using a panoramic lens. I want you to open it, see it, study it, ask any question you want. There's no film in it, you try it and see how it looks. Wow. Alright? Wow. Alright? Can I sleep tonight? Okay. Here. And if there's anything on the internship, he can answer. Yeah, we have lost professor Chana. 